page should all be on page 125. Dew, squeak, display, gleam, spray, brew, new, dew. Track has been in the planning for about three years. The data of our students in the reading area has been below the standard for many of our kids uh, for quite an extended period of time. Our principal, Anthony Rodderhan, was concerned and in his role as college principal, he had the big picture across both our junior campuses. He felt strongly, as we do, that when you have data that's telling you information about your kids, you need to act on that data. The data was telling us that on NAPLAN and other standardised testing, reading was not something that students were coming in strong. Um, and in the time at Kurnai, they were not improving to a point where they were leaving school with functional literacy. So the data told us that even though we were doing lots of great work in our classrooms, unfortunately we weren't able to close that gap in the time that students were here. So um, investigating what was available or what was out there became the priority and looking for something that all students can benefit from and having it so that it's not stigmatised or it's not a withdrawal program but something that we just do. We had great concern that our students weren't achieving um, at the end of the school in VCE uh, as well as we thought they should be and when we investigated that it was because they, the literacy skills weren't high enough so we needed to investigate a whole school approach to improving our kids ability to read and we did that we sent uh, two leading teachers out for a term to look at schools that had good literacy results look at programs look at options and they came back with a range of programs for us to select from and we settled on track. So when we started the pilot we screened or we had a look at decoding skills of all our students and discovered that 85% had gaps in their decoding knowledge or their phonetic awareness. We were not prepared for that many decoding classes. We anticipated two or three small groups of five to ten students. We didn't expect that we would predominantly be focusing on decoding with our cohorts. But this is a program that every student will participate in. They are screened prior to commencement. They are put into groups according to the next skill of reading that they need to practice and, and develop and as they achieve automaticity and accuracy in that skill, they then progress to the next skill. So they're in mixed year level groups, um, and those groups change as they attain their automaticity. Brown, growl, scowl, scowl, flower, town. The automaticity works um, through the repeated practice and the multiple exposures to the information. They're actually automatically decoding the word and pronouncing and reading it correctly. It makes an enormous difference to comprehending what they're reading. Track's great for kids that um, can't read, that don't have any of the basic tools to sound out words, to decode words but it's also great for kids that are fluent readers and it builds on their skill set to understand complex texts, deeper texts that have uh, hidden meanings and inferences and subtext and so on. We've got to try to figure out these new words that are in there using either the synonym, the antonym or the context process. We can write down the word oscillated into your books. Now that's a tricky word. Which process do you think, Beth, I might use for that? Mm. Yes, brilliant, excellent. Uh, Carol Christensen developed this program. She's an educationalist, but she's also a psychologist. So she has a unique understanding of how we learn and how the brain works and the, the processes involved in the brain around decoding and reading and gaining automaticity. She has a, an understanding of that. And she also understands um, education and how schools work, how teachers operate, how students learn. So bringing both those skills together, she developed this program. And that is the beauty of track. It is great for kids who can't read and it's just as great for kids who can. So every student, four days a week, does an hour of track in the morning. And uh, it's part of, of the program for everyone. I've been reading um, a bit quicker than usual and I'm starting to, I'm starting to like that.
I like reading Harry Potter books. There are some difficult words in the book sometimes and uh, when the track program, th program came up and started last year, it's helped, helped my reading a lot. It's honestly helped me a lot with my work because um, I'm learning new words as well, putting them into my writing and my essays and things. In maths it's helped a lot as well and most of my other classes, history and that. My mum and my dad think it's really good. It's helped me a lot with, especially for other classes like English, humanities, just with like, you know, the way you write things or the way you used to describe things. And it's definitely brought me a lot further with my reading, my descriptive language, my writing, um, the way that I like put everything together. My grades have also been better, like with reading and viewing, like from my reports. It's like a really great um, thing to like start your day with and wake yourself up. Before we started, I um, wasn't the best at English, didn't enjoy it much, but ever since track started, like I've really been wanting to go every day and like just happy to wake up to do track. All across the board it helps um, just your thinking and stuff, um, helping with answers, just summarising things. Um, and yeah, it just helps with everything. I seem to enjoy like reading and books a lot more than I used to. I haven't always been a big fan of reading, but since track, I've started to read outside of school. Sometimes we do an activity where the teacher picks out a certain word and we have to find the definition for it, um, put a definition into our own words, find like suffix, root word, prefix, um, find some synonyms and all that, and that really helps like expand our vocabulary. Miss Gumpolt, our teacher, will say some new words like we've never seen before and then we have to find like the definition about it so it's kind of cool learning the definitions about words and like certainly you have to make sentences and draw pictures and it can be really interesting about what you can learn with words that you've never known about before. There was like an ellipsis, like the three dots and I didn't know the name for it and then when Miss, our teacher, told us about it, I found it really interesting because I've never, I've knew, I've known about the three dots but I've never knew the name of them. So now I do and I use it. I think it's a program that's proven its success. It's very data driven and they're improving their grades because they're able to um, free up their working memory. So instead of concentrating on what sound does this letter make, that's becoming automatic for them so they can read the words and then they can start delving into comprehension skills. With the neurological psychology behind it, you can understand why we're doing the things and we can explain to the kids why we're doing certain things. So they can see it's not just, hey, she's just shoved something in front of us. There's a real reason behind it. With the reading and like um, automaticity, like just being able to look at a word and know what it like know what it means and know how to pronounce it. If I used to look at a word, I'd have to stop for a couple of seconds and think about it. But now because of track, I would have gone through the word and learned how to say it again. And then I would have been able to see it and read it. They can see their vocab building. They can see that they're not competing against each other. They're competing against themselves, seeing if they can improve how well they read. A lot of our kids come with gaps in their learning and gaps with their phonological awareness and track is, the mo for me, the most efficient way of plugging those gaps so they can become successful learners and therefore successful in life. He tells me that it helps him with his pronunciation and he feels like he can read more fluently. Um, I guess one observation as a parent that I make is that his text messages are always full words. So, you know, like I've got a 16 year old who will certainly one letter responses or, or things like that. Whereas his text messages certainly show me that he uses the right words um, and he texts in full, you know, words and full sentences. His reading was always pretty good, but it's nice to hear that he appreciates the program and he feels like he's getting something out of it. My daughter will start year seven in 2021, but she's always struggled with reading. So I'm really hoping to see what benefits that will have for her. At first, I didn't think it was very fun. I didn't really want to participate in it, but that was last year. This year, I kind of just thought maybe this might help me, and it has. Before I did track, I would stop and start when I was reading, like I'd lose where I was and like not be able to read 
some words properly and now I read more fluently. I am a math science teacher, so I never really thought I'd be teaching sort of an English component or like a literacy component. I was sceptical at the start, um, not only about my ability to do it, but like whether it would have an effect. Um, and it's been really interesting for science, it's like definitely had an impact, well, that I can see anyway, because I teach the year eight track and I teach year eight in itself, so I get to see sort of both, both sides of it. At, the start of this year compared to now, like you, you can't you can't compare the difference, right? Like I'm able to access <clears throat> high level texts and sort of reading components was sort of something that you had to avoid or had to really structure or really like it took a long time to get through with the class. And I have found myself using it a lot in my classes. Nothing worse for a kid to be sitting in a classroom who can't access what everyone else can and the frustration and anger that you would feel about that. Um, it can be soul destroying for some of those students and that's why they hate school and that's why they don't want to come to school. I haven't done like proper reading stuff at my old school but I barely knew how to read proper books and stuff but when I did track I just found words and like letters and sounds so much easier. I could read books now. Yeah, at my old school we didn't really do anything kind of like track so, and track has like really helped me with my reading and learning. Like um, last year I was really below the level and now that I've done track I've been so much quicker at reading and instead of just skipping words I may spell them out now. Um, English I, I think has really helped because sometimes they get you to read stuff on a piece of paper and I just I sucked at it, but then when I did track, I just, letters and stuff were just, they're really easy to do now. Some of my teachers didn't really understand what my writing was, and then doing track just helped my writing and my spelling a lot more. Half the time in classes, I always used to write words, and then when I handed it in, none of my teachers could understand what I spelt or wrote, but now with using track, it's helped me improve my handwriting and spelling, so now it's so much easier for the teachers to understand what I'm doing in writing. Uh, we had noticed that from his first report to now, it, there's been a, um, a steady increase. Like, he's a good student, but he's, he's increased, you know. He'll pick up a book that he's interested in and read it, and now he's even, you know, in the morning or he'll grab the paper, He'll read about facts and figures and all that sort of stuff. It's not more information rather than just stories and such. The more kids we can get through to VCE, that'd be great. It's not the be all end all, but it's about getting the fundamentals right. And if they can't read and pronounce words, they can't take that knowledge in. We screen kids every five weeks and they can move up a group as they go. And after six months, 12 months, they're moving right up through the through the track program and getting to some of the um, the other skills that are enhancing their reading. We have had significant growth so students are moving through the decoding and into comprehension now so we've got more students doing comprehension than we have decoding at both year seven and eight after running the pilot for 18 months. They're seeing and feeling the benefits in terms of their growth. They, we share their post-screening growth with them and we talk about how well they've done. The program is very much around positive reinforcement and the language is around practicing a new skill. So it's not you have to get everything right. This is a skill that some of us can do with a little bit of practice and some of us need some more practice and that's okay. It's about the energy that you put into building that accuracy and automaticity of reading that is the important thing. The results are really amazing when you see the difference in the kids uh, in the students their self-esteem and their um, enjoyment of being at school. Um, they can access some of the stuff that they weren't able to access prior to that. They feel better about themselves um, and they, um, their attendance, their uh, happiness levels at school improve all the time. So um, it has a flow-on effect. Not only do they become good readers, they become happier kids and feeling better about being at school. It makes you feel better as a person to like know what you're doing and, um, and to know what you're understanding. 
It makes me feel more confident reading things to people and reading books. I just really enjoy it um, and find it really purposeful and that it's having a really big impact on, the, on our kids. There's kids all over Australia who need this program and I'm just so passionate about it because I've seen its success. I've seen the kids' enthusiasm for it and as a staff as a whole, we're highly passionate about it. Best program I've ever taught. As a, a teacher and as a literacy specialist, I feel nothing but pride for our college and the fact that we identified that we had a problem, we made it a priority and then we shifted everything we did to make it something that we do every day. To work in a school where we table literacy or table reading as a priority and then change our timetable to make sure that we have time every day dedicated explicitly to making sure every student in our school is growing and reading, you, you just can't ask for more than that.